Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I need to set the record straight on manufactured homes. There has been a lot of chatter this year about how much home values have increased, but one segment of the market always seems to be left out of the conversation until now. The segment I'm talking about is manufactured homes and the lack of information leads to acceptance of any old narrative that's burned into people's minds, whether or not it's accurate. A lot of people assume that manufactured homes lose their value over time, similar to a car or any other depreciating asset, but in my experience, the opposite is true. I understand that at some point in time that may have been the case, but guess what folks, things change. I have seen many examples of manufactured homes increasing in value and by significant amounts in my own area and have had numerous people comment on my videos that their own manufactured home had gone up as well, but I always wondered if those were isolated events. Why would so many people assume that manufactured homes lose value when they don't, right? No, I'm honestly asking because I have no idea. Lucky for me, somebody gathered the actual data on manufactured home values over a five-year window, the article went viral, and it's easy to see why. The numbers, they're a bit shocking. What I'm gonna do is show you what's actually happening with manufactured home values, tell you why I think that is, and give you examples of when values can go down, so let's do it. I saw the article on the New York Times website, but the information was gathered by LendingTree using the latest information available from the U.S. Census Bureau of values over a five-year period ending in 2019. And the long and short of it is that manufacturing values increased in every state except Kansas and Delaware. Manufactured home values increased in every other state. Every other state. The highest increases were in Nevada, where the median manufactured home value increased by 106% over the five-year period. But that's just the beginning. According to their findings, not only did we find that mobile homes are generally far less expensive than single-family homes, but the median value of mobile homes increased more quickly in 27 states than the median value of single-family homes over the same five-year period. Listen, I'm not trying to say that manufactured homes are better than traditional homes or that traditional homes are better than manufactured homes because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me. People are gonna buy what they're gonna buy. What does matter to me is squashing the myth that all manufactured homes lose value because there might be people out there who would love living in a manufactured home who aren't considering it because Uncle Scratch and Sniff was spreading outdated information at Thanksgiving. It's really easy for me to sit here and flap my gums about how manufactured homes can in fact increase in value, but at the end of the day, I'm just a guy sitting here recording videos on my phone, so it's better to back up my claim with more proof. In December of 2019, I sold a single wide in a mobile home park. 16 months later, it sold again and we can go online and see both of those prices. We can see right here in the description, it's a 2018 MH, stands for manufactured home, and it's a single wide. I sold it in December 2019 for $150,000, and then in April of this year, it sold again for $230,000 or $80,000 more. So right away, we can see that had I just held on to that place for another 16 months, 80 big ones in my jeans. That's the equivalent of $5,000 per month for doing nothing. You may want to reconsider coming here for advice. That's a big whiff. You know what though, that's life. And the takeaway we need to direct our attention to is the fact that yes, manufactured homes can and do increase in value just like most other forms of real estate. This wasn't always the case. So what we need to look at is what's changed. The truth is a lot has changed. Where do I even begin? I don't actually keep track, but if I had to guess the number one thing buyers say when they enter a manufactured home on a dealer's lot, it would be something to the effect of, wow, these aren't what they used to be. The reason they say that is because it's true. Manufactured homes are built better, have more available options, and well-thought layouts. On top of that, the standards for homes have improved. I'm not talking about the federal standards for the design and construction of manufactured homes to assure quality, durability, safety, and affordability, which are HUD standards in the States, or Z240 in Canada. I'm talking about the standards set within the individual factories. It wasn't that long ago that demand for new manufactured homes was a lot lower than it is right now. Back in 2009, less than 50,000 manufactured homes shipped that calendar year in the States, compared to over 90,000 in 
in 2020. Over the last 10 or 11 years, factories have been fine tuning their offering to attract more buyers. So a lot of the homes that we see right now far exceed the minimum required standards. Finally, I think the cost of a traditional home has led more people to the idea of a manufactured home. Building manufactured homes on a factory line results in more affordable homes. As prices of traditional homes rise and people are priced out of that market, they often turn to manufactured homes. At that point, you have all the people who are already looking at manufactured homes, plus all the new people who are looking for more affordability. So every time home prices increase, you have more people looking to manufactured homes as a solution which unfortunately for buyers increases the value of existing manufactured homes and the price of new manufactured homes due to increased demand. The more affordable option becomes less affordable, however, it still remains the more affordable option. But will values increase forever? Based on what I'm saying, everyone can rush out and buy a manufactured home and expect guaranteed increased value, right? Not so fast. There are no guarantees, but there are factors that can increase the likelihood of a manufactured home's value increasing. I personally believe that the biggest factor affecting the value of a manufactured home is whatever's happening in the overall real estate market. The data collected was from 2014 to 2019. During those years in my market, things were gradually heating up, starting right around 2014, slowly picking up steam until things absolutely took off in 2020. If for whatever reason, the entire real estate market decides to take a trip south, I would expect again for manufactured home prices to follow that trend. Beyond market cycles, there are other factors that can affect the value of a manufactured home that you should be aware of. Starting with the most obvious, the location. If you buy a manufactured home in a location that people wanna be, there is a good chance that there's gonna be someone that wants to buy when you're ready to sell, especially if you're in a location that has a limited amount of manufactured homes. The home I used in the $80,000 example backed onto a golf course i live in an area with a lot of retirees retirees like golf another good example is paradise cove in malibu california homes in paradise cove routinely sell for multiple millions of dollars strictly because of the location and the fact that people want to live there most of the factors that affect the value of a manufactured home apply to every other type of real estate like maintenance if a traditional home isn't maintained value goes down same with a manufactured home However, one factor specific to manufactured homes applies to buying in a mobile home park. Can home values in a mobile home park increase? Absolutely, yes, they can. The $80,000 increase example was in a mobile home park, but it's important to know how much pad rent can be increased on a yearly basis before buying. If you buy a home in a park and the next year the owners double the pad rent, that will affect the price you'll be able to get when you're ready to sell. You need to understand those possibilities before buying and be comfortable with them in case it does happen because regulations are different from state to state and province to province. It's official, manufactured homes can and do increase in value just like every other form of real estate. So I think it's time we put the old narrative to bed. I honestly think that the idea that manufactured homes lose value like a car has probably scared a lot of people from entering the market at all and now it'll be even harder to enter because prices are so much higher. All due to a myth that people assumed was fact because nobody bothered to say otherwise. There is a lot of misinformation out there about manufactured homes, so I'm gonna continue to call BS as I see it. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.